Okay, so what's up, babes? It's Curly to Victoria. I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So in this video, we're going to be talking about all things Curly to Victoria, getting my ish together, getting my weight together, getting my whole entire life together. And we're going to talk about it all in this video. So I'll be sipping wine and um, make sure you guys smash the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time I post a video. By the time this video goes up, I probably would have already posted my 24 hour glow up, which is basically going to just be some errands being ran um, to kind of just get myself put together. So if you want to see that, then go see that video. Uh, make sure you guys smash the subscribe button and then also share, share, share comment you know just let me know what you guys are thinking so i am going to grab my wine glass i'm going to be drinking this california wine as you see the ca on the back it is a red blend um but i see this one on the shelf all the time and i never really like it's always interest me but i always be will be going into the store for a specific whatever wine and then i'm like let me just buy some extra oh the satisfaction you guys i've literally been off the chain today with what i've been having and by the way this is literally like nobody asked but i'm just gonna tell you the new wine opener that i got because remember i told you guys i was gonna get another electric wine opener so the one that i have been using the wine opener that i have been using i've had for a long time and it's just a small little um opener right for the cork and baby it just i don't know just recently it just didn't do what it was it was not given what it was supposed to give and i've had it for a long time it was just a little not the electric one i've been got rid of my electric one because i was missing some pieces but i just used my handheld one wasn't working right so about maybe like a week and a half ago two weeks ago i went to go look for a wine opener and i ended up i was like i think big, big lots would have something like this so i go into big lots in the plaza that i was in and they had a wine opener for eight to, for eight dollars but it was not electric it was just like kind of looked like the one i had but a little bit more um heavy duty it seemed like it it did you know it could do the job so i bought it and i'm like if it doesn't work then we'll just go get an electric one and keep this one for whatever i didn't use it because i ended up using drinking some of my screw top wines that evening but so i didn't need to use you know the wine opener but i just used it for the first time baby and it i opened this wine bottle so easily just look how big this cork is i mean this is like a standard cork size but baby it, straight down the middle and out okay so that little wine opener um it did its thing and i can't think of the brand right now but it's from big lots y'all this wine is so smooth. Oh my gosh, and the viscosity on the glass, oh my gosh. Mm. I'm trying to, it's smooth and it's a vibe, baby. It's a vibe, okay? Flowers and wine, baby, that's me. That's Curly's Victoria, flowers and wine. Mm. I'm trying to share more with you guys about this one, but it's smooth. It's smooth. I like it. I'll be getting it again. It's very smooth. <sighs> wow. Anyway, I know I've kind of talked about all of that in like the first part of this video, but I just wanted to talk about my overall, what I'm going to be doing, what's going on, etc., etc. So y'all, y'all know, okay, my skin has been breaking out and I know that a lot of times we talk about this on the channel, but I'm doing an update on my entire life. So if, you, if I feel like, a, if you guys feel like a lot of the stuff I talk about is repetitious, it's because I'm talking about, oh, hey, boo, did a commercial with her. Um, but in the end of the day, if you feel as though um, what I talk about is kind of repetitive, it's because I low key talk about the same type of topics on my channel. So it's my lifestyle, it's my business. The main categories is like lifestyle, beauty, business, fashion, you know, those different things I talk about weight. And I literally am just basically giving you guys updates in goal setting. So the first thing we're gonna talk about though in my little is school. 
okay oh and i talk about school too i'm doing my master's in law program so i have two classes left so i just want to give you guys updates where we're at two classes left not intending at all to take them in the summer i have the option to do that but not going to do it i'm going to take it in the fall that way i'm rejuvenated to a degree um and i can focus on finishing up those last courses needless to say we should be done 2021 okay so then um the next thing let's talk about skin since we are there so skin i've been breaking out you guys notice that i break out often and you're probably like girl what is going on i just want to say hormonal imbalances and things like that are a thing um you know, our body takes dips in estrogen and, and progesterone and stuff like that. And especially around our cycle time, I'm on my cycle. And a lot of times it's just certain breakouts that you can't control. So I'm hoping once I'm off and my levels are back balanced that I can really focus on getting everything back to normal. So I've been having so many craves lately. Today I had craves for some chocolate. I have craves for like so many things over the last couple days and I'm doing my best to kind of you know try to keep it together but baby it's been real so as far as skin we're still going to be in the repair process I am going to be washing my face one to two times a day well normally like two but sometimes I'll be doing three if needed based off of the temperature outside if it's super hot and I'm coming in sweaty during the day yeah we're gonna get a face wash during the day or something um i don't want to stay too long on skincare but as far as school and skincare they're literally like two things that i know what needs to happen but at this point it's just following the um the goals so then let's move on to i'm trying to talk about the longest topic like kind of last um hair so as far as my hair y'all i am about to turn 23 months on june 1st 2021 that is when I will hit uh, 23 months on my second lock journey, so I am super happy. And on July 1st, I'll be hitting two years, which I'm gonna be doing a video that's gonna show you guys from the start all the way up into two years, which baby, it has not always been, it has not, it's been, a, it's been a rough journey. Not rough in the sense of like, I'm just saying when you see how, it, how I started versus how I am now, you're gonna be like, but at the same time, it's like I've embraced every bit of the journey, whether I was looking, you know, my hair goals or not. Um, I embraced it, never wore wigs or anything over my locks in the first journey nor the second journey. And I don't intend to. Um, the only way I can ever see myself really wearing serious wigs or anything over my locks is if I'm in a play, a, mo a movie, um, something, a commercial, anything. And I have to, you know maybe go for a specific look but otherwise you're not going to catch me on a daily wearing wigs over my locks i love my locks and that's what it's going to be um i dyed my hair yesterday jet black uh you guys know i keep jet black in my hair anyway but i wanted to freshen up my black considering summer's here and i didn't want to get in the middle of summer and then be trying to freshen up my black so i rather just do that now at the start and just go from there i also retwisted my hair today um and then i didn't keep my clips in as long as i usually would have kept them in so i just threw my hair up into a bun and then i just went about my day so then uh what else do we want to talk about food well as far as like my eating you guys know my lifestyle is vegan so there's not much to really say oh don't do this don't do that but i will be cleaning up what i am eating to specifically focus on the shape of my body um which transitions me into the last thing is this the last thing that we're going to touch on tonight in this video update yeah well let's talk about home so as far as cleaning and stuff like that i've already started some laundry for the evening um you guys know that i'm always on a constant cleanup uh it's just it's just a part of me you'll hear me saying that i'm cleaning up more than you want so it is what it is so i cleaned up um or i will be cleaning up getting things together just usual routine and then let's transition into the last topic which is talking about weight which i weighed in this morning at 156 point two yeah 
yeah i think it, no 156.1 um so it was right at 156 but you guys like i said i am it's that time of the month so i'm not i don't care too much about what the scale is saying with this weight once i'm off the cycle that's what we're going to focus on um but i just want to tell you guys what the weight was this morning 156 i need to lose a good like 25 pounds or so well, maybe even a little bit more than that about 27 28 pounds maybe even close to 30 pounds um and i know people say no stay the way that you are y'all we all have a comfort weight and we all know what we best feel like and look like and for me this ain't this ain't it sis this ain't it so um i am grateful to have made my way back down the scale since i tell you guys when i first became vegan i um literally gained almost 50 plus pounds in a given period of time when i switched from eating meat to vegan so i know most people think you're going to lose weight but i gained and i seen as high as 180 on the scale um and i used to be a person who only seen 120s 130s so that was big for me um so my goal is to just get back down to the goal so i have since then lost about 30 pounds 25 to 30 pounds and it's been amazing and we just want to continue to go back down the scale so i will be focusing on getting back down to those goals um but i'm just going to be figuring out what routine is going to work going for my walks going for my runs um cycling my cycling bike is in the background um doing some ab work just things like that my goal is to not get a quick fix but slowly work on these things and then um, ultimately hit my goal. So nothing happens overnight. Y'all, I must say this wine is so good, but you gonna have to be careful with this wine because this wine most definitely will literally have you woozy. I'm trying to compare it to something for y'all. Maybe not even the taste that I'm trying to compare. I'm trying to compare the. It's smooth. Like velvet. Like what? I like it a lot. And y'all know I like a lot of California um, blended wines anyway. Mm. Definitely strong. But yo that's it i like it that wine is it but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up like comment share subscribe as i stated go check out my other videos i need to get this cork partially in there um go check out my other videos and i'll see you babes in the next one thanks for tuning in